Hey y'all, APG Jamie here, and today brings us hashtag fourth art Saturday. Our challenge theme for this month was button. <laughs> y'all, this is like the 20th time I've done the voiceover. I don't know what's going on. It's like it's not recording, but it's recording, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe this one's the winner. So, I am using a uh, shrink plastic because I'm going to make some buttons from it. And alcohol inks because it looks cool on there. And I'm dabbling on different colors. And this is, uh, I believe it's Brie Reese brand. Guy. And at some point, I double some of that off because it just looked too splotchy. And once it dries, sometimes, often, alcohol ink will be somewhat sticky. And I like to put the foil film on it. It just looks so sticky cool to me. I know, it doesn't really look like there's much color on there from the alcohol inks, but it's there, y'all. So I've got this oval punch. Because I'm making oval buttons. Because buttons don't have to be round. I've actually seen square and triangular and flower shaped buttons. Anyway. Uh, this is just scraps. I am just purely using scrap shrink plastic, y'all. And I have a little bit. That it won't make an oval, but it certainly will make a circle one. Because I have a couple of other ones over there. You know, other other little buttons over there. Okay. So, now we're going to poke holes in there. You always, if you want holes in your shrink plastic, like if you're making buttons or charms or something that hangs, you know, you're going to want to put your hole in there before you shrink it. Okay? And I'm going to use heat gun. Okay? So, I'll tell you. You'll know. You'll see it as well. You can also put these in a toaster oven or a regular big house oven. Read your brand of shrink plastics information, okay? So, we got all our holes. Hey, can y'all? We've got all our little holes punched in there. Each button's got two holes because, you know, you need two. It's not a charm. If it was a charm, it, one would be enough, but, you know, it's button. So, just holding it with the tweezers. It gets all freaky, and it's like, oh! It rolls up, and then it unrolls, and, you know, they like... They're like, I don't know, less than half, aren't they? Like a quarter of the size? I don't know. I don't know what size they come out. This big. That's how big they come out. I'm like, yeah, I like that. Okay, they're perfect. I'm examining them. <laughs> oh, I, I like to put my acrylic block on there. It just helps to ensure they stay flat. <sighs> have fun. Anyway, so... I'm not just going to make a button card. I'm going to make a button card matchbook plus kind of thingy. I like to spritz my... This is scrap card sock, by the way, if I didn't say that already. Anyway, um, I like to spritz my card stock or paper, if you're using paper, before I use the embossing folder on it. It helps keep it from tearing or ripping and getting holes in it like it often does with the embossing folders. Okay? So, it's going to be a, a match, match, uh, matchbook. So, I've got the fo bottom folded up, folded over in the middle-ish, and then I put a, another little fold in there so that it's, you know, expandable of sorts because that's the way matchbooks were back in the day do they still make matchbooks probably because they were a big advertising thing so they probably still do you know so i'm going to glue that in there down there with our glitter glue my second favorite nice fine line it grabs super quick it's no move moving around changing your mind on this kind of glue so putting that in there Putting that in there. You can bet the last voiceover I did was the perfect one. <laughs> Although there was a lot of noise outside. Just as well. 
So now I'm measuring because this is going to be the actual button card. And this is faux measuring. I mean, I'm measuring. I'm using a ruler. I'm eyeballing. Getting a little better eyeball of a size kind of thing. There ain't no ruler boss in me. So I got my card. Don't worry. I will round those corners later. And I'm laying my buttons on there. I have six. Well, actually, I had seven. But I'm only using six. Because uh, seven would be an odd number of buttons. They usually come in pairs. Anyway, so I'm using my mechanical pencil and I'm drawing circles, you know, where the little hole is in the button. And uh, I do that for all six of them. Okay. And we're going, we've already threaded our needle with crochet cotton thread, which I may have forgot to put in the ingredients listed below, along with links for y'all to follow for more buttoned fun. So I'm going to affix my loose tail of my uh, thread there with a um, paper clip as soon as I can get one out and say the words. So doing that. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to proceed on sewing all these buttons on. No, don't worry. You don't have to watch me sew every single one of them. No, that would be a little redundant. So, so we're tying them on the back. Because, so you know, they can be cut off and they can be actually used for buttons if you really wanted to, I suppose. I mean, why not? They're buttons, right? Now I'm rounding those corners. It would have been easier if I'd have done it before I sewed the buttons on there. So now we're going to make our little matchbook. They are typically stapled, although it's not a law. I am going to use a staple, though. And uh, it happens to be green staples. <laughs> I thought, oh, I think I want to cover my staples up. So I got out some matching washi tape. I'm going to put some glue on it because, you know, I like to glue that stuff. Because it's temporary tape, y'all. Just saying. So, yeah. If you want it to stay, you best you best use some glue. Any hoots. Uh, I will put some uh, across the staples on the back as well. See, that's just going to sit right in there. That's going to close up. Mm -hmm. I've got some computer printed labels that I made that I'm going to put on there. Oh, now we're putting it on the back because obviously it was important that you saw me do this. And no, I did not ink anything i didn't even go over the embossing with any kind of ink okay it might not come off that well on the camera but in real life it's really good so i've got labels and i was gonna glue them on and i thought it's gonna be a pocket because you know i like my pockets so there's one on the outside one on the inside and then there's a label on the back but the one on the back's not a pocket could be important to know that information yeah oh and I made a second one it's different it's sort of the same but it's different I don't show you me making it but it's sort of the same but different <laughs> say that again <sighs> so we got that going on I had to think about that one for a minute so we got a pocket we're putting another pocket and yes, the other one I made has got the pockets too. I didn't put anything in the pockets, but they're there. So, you're going to want to be sure to kind comment on this video. Sometimes I randomly give stuff away. Sometimes not. But, for sure, you want to visit my fellow hoppers. Oh, here's our little flippy flop thing. You're going to want to kind comment on their videos. You're going to want to share the videos. Okay. You're going to want to subscribe to the channels you may not already be subscribed to. Because YouTube's analytics appreciates that. Okay. We do too. Aren't they cute? So stinking happy with them. They've both got two pieces of... It's cardstock lace. It's not real lace. It's paper lace. Okay. Look. Little round ones. Oval ones. Ta-da! Photo montage. 
Buttons and Lace Emporium, the faux business with the catchy name. <laughs> catchy. I thought it was funny. Buttons catch the other piece of fabric and hold everything together. It's catchy. It's faux business. Handcrafted buttons. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed this project, y'all. I really did. <sighs> Be sure to follow the links. For real. How cute. I made a second one because I've been trying to keep one for myself so I can, you know, keep track of it. And I go, oh, well, it's been three years since we did one of those. Let's, it's time to do that again, you know. All that kind of stuff. Not that it, I've made a have I made a button card book? I don't think so I've made shrink plastic charms I don't know how cute are they make me stick and happy not for retail <laughs> oh gosh y'all enjoy yourselves and have fun thanks for watching and happy arting y'all